What's going on everybody? This is an episode from the No Gimmicks Needed Wrestling Podcast. Do you like podcasts and you want to see the full podcast? Make sure you check out the No Gimmicks Needed Wrestling Podcast on all your podcast platforms, such as Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Stitcher, Spotify, iHeartRadio, among many others. But you're listening to the episode right here on YouTube, so make sure you hit that like button in below and make sure you hit the subscribe button to NC Studios and NC Level Up for all your gaming needs. This is the Nerd Coalition. Enjoy the show. News drop. Let me tell you something. Prime texted me, and I, I, I had to keep this all to myself. Because Prime texted me and said, no. It's happening. I said, no, no, no. I don't even care what you about to say. I don't care if you about to tell me about something, something about somebody dying or somebody getting out or somebody doing something like, should I get out of jail? Whatever keeps me busy. That was a very random example. But it go is. Ahead. But he, he, he was telling me that Vince is trying to come back. I said, no. Yeah. I said, no, 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 we can't. I said, we can't. I said, everything about to explode like Tom and Jerry right now. We we, we can't do this. And then I was like, who made it up? And then when he takes it back to Wall Street Journal, like, I I really felt the heat in my body. They trying to launch a comeback. He trying to launch a comeback. I'm being real with you. I think he knows that if he sit at home, he going to die. And I'm not being funny. Like, how many people have you seen? They retire, they go home, and they slow down. And then within a year they did. Miss McBain is not finna let. Because I got a lot of jokes in my head about that. He right. not, listen. He not finna let. But uh, beyond that, he not gonna let this go so easily. He is not taking this line now. This little TV saw a lie and said, "What? <laughs> <laughs> what happened to Ezekiel? How dare you all thrive and be happy to be here? <laughs> I have to go Don't back and oppress." Stage two. What? What? Where is my twenty four seven championship? In the track, but I just said uh, every week. My man just have, have a little seizures. You know what I'm saying because of the shit he be seeing overall spec there. Oh my god! Where is Charlotte Flair? Yeah, Where is Charlotte Flair. <laughs> shit, scripts. I want Reggie. <laughs> Who is Tegan Knox? I mean, Akira Tozawa looks like Akira Tozawa again. Uh, <laughs> is that my little ninja? Sarah Logan is out here looking like a full fledged vice. Where is Omos? Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, first of all, he like, wait, we're saying people, you, all you got jobs? So, Where are the colors in NXT? <laughs> Listen. So, so, so much stuff that it's just like, yo, my God, he will, he, he will just like, let's flip it back. You know His what I'm head is just exploding at home every week. He probably, he probably didn't threw so many things at the TV. Yes. Just mad. He ain't got TV no more. <laughs> he ain't got TV. He, he, he going out on dates. He ain't got on TV no more. Now he got on. He going out on dates. Why y'all taking pictures of that man? <laughs> we out uh, with his companion. Well, the, the news broke that Vince would say he regrets about stepping down and feels as though that he got some bad advice from some people about stepping down. Uh, I'm due, old, I'm due, 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 due to the alleged hush money, uh, you know, payoff scandals, and he said he won't make makes a possible return. To the company, no. uh, I, I'm gonna tell you right now. And even though Vince has control of most of the, what was it the shares? Mm-hmm. He's a primary shareholder. Primary, primary shareholder. He could probably make it help anybody. It just business wise, like everything has gone up. The stock has gone up. The ratings have gone up. Mer- like, and this is without Vince here, because they might thought when Vince leaves. All this stuff would crash. I think that that is probably was burning his biscuit the most. That he thought it would fail if he wasn't there, and it's not failing, and he's pissed. Okay, that's why I think he believes that he got bad advice. In actuality, that to me, it just gives me more of a tone deaf response than anything, because it's like you, you thought you think that these allegations are going to just blow over and we'll forget about it. Uh-huh. And you'll be able to come back. <laughs> but then two new ones came out, so I don't care. Exactly. I'm like, sir, sit down. Like you can't. That's not how this works. We, this is not gonna work like all the other scandals. Cause are we gonna talk about that while we talking about this return? That, you talk, that, that, that documentary. Yeah. It's gonna be all lumped into one. Okay. Although I was not necessarily crazy about it. <sighs> all the scandals they talked about in there only were able to uh like be swept under the rug because of the time it was yeah also money yes but no you go 
you have a top wrestler on your roster that you went and made a murder charge go away for, people not going to be like, yeah, bring him back. I mean, the steroid trial, I don't think people would have cared about as much. That's not. But rape allegations and murder investigations. and Bro, no. this It's not that time anymore. And this is what people are getting most upset about because it's not that time anymore. You can't just get away with being reckless. Yeah. Uh, and it seems like you actually have to face some repercussions for your actions. Surprise, surprise. Um, but no, I don't think they gave you incorrect advice telling you to step away. The product itself was suffering. I was like, either one, one, one of y'all was going to die. Either the product or you. Okay. <laughs> I'm not I guess, sure which would go first. I guess he he looks at it as that if, I, if the party goes down, I'm gonna it's gonna be because of me, you know. So it ain't gonna be because of nobody else. But right now, with everything, Lily, but like, like I said, the 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 are the TV shows perfect? Absolutely not. No. You know what I'm saying? Because first of all, it's still hard to book and to write a three hour television show. That just is too much time. But but the, that's a trouble. His hands is. Ty, that's just USA. He got, well, he, I'm aware. I understand yeah. it's not like they can change it. But logistically, no matter who takes this, that's yeah. too much time. Yeah. No. I'm not watching no TV show for three hours. It, exactly. So it's hard It's hard to even, it's hard to even you know, kind of try to make that. Because if you want to talk about filler or raw with the whole Dexter Lumis and Gorgano segment, I was like, oh, filler. Lord. This is all filler. Like, because it's like we got to stay out there and just, 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 just talk. You know, do something. Give money. Do something. You know, get a kid some merch. Like, okay, I'm just, <laughs> just doing whatever. Yeah, to, I, to and, fill time. So, but with all, all this going up, it would be detrimental to the company as a whole to even think about even letting, letting him back in. He will have to go through a lot of channels to even to come back. But that would just, I that. That would just be so bad. If you see what the company is doing now, especially when you have an oversaturated market in wrestling as it is in 2022. Oh, it's a lot of wrestling out there. It really, is, it really is a lot of wrestling out there. And, of course, coincidence, this is this is coming right at, at uh, the documentary on Vice TV that came out, The Nine Lives of Mystic Man. Now, Prime Time said he did not see it. But me and you actually got to sit there and see it. We did. But uh, I just wanted to say one yeah. thing before we get into the, the, the documentary. This is where his own philosophy comes back to bite him in the ass. Uh huh. It's all about the bottom line. Yes. It's always going to be about the money. So if the shareholders see that the stock um, and the overall perception of the product has improved, hence, you know, more butts and seats, more money, higher stock, whatever. Yeah. Without him there. They're going to give him a hard time trying to get back in because why would I want you to come back and tank my stock price and I lose money? Yeah. It's just like, you know, everything comes full circle. But I just I just wanted to say that. I think that's that that's kind of funny to me. Um, but yes, we did see the Vice documentary, which I don't know what I was expecting from it. I think it gave exactly what I was expecting. Okay. I ve- It very much gave me, all right, you got a five album deal. You did four. Let's hit that. Let's put that greatest hits from the other four albums on there to satisfy your contract. That's what the, that's what this, this yeah. gave me. It was like a compilation album. We're this- just going to take clips from the things that we've already done and compile it all into one to make it uh relevant to the topic that we're talking about now. Yeah. That's what that documentary gave me. The, uh yeah, that's what it did prime like I said you didn't even see it, but it was more so like remember all the other Dark Side of the Rings? From you saw there? It was pretty much the same thing. It it was like so of course you had like Brian Alvarez, you had certain some new kind of people talking about it, but they, they, they Jim Cornette was in there. Who? Jim Cornette. No, or I mean, in flashbacks. It was but, clips. But they had Vince Russo, obviously. God. Uh, but it was like from if you if you're going all the way back to 
you know, the uh, territory days to Jimmy Snooker to the steroids to uh, Owen Hart mm -hmm. to the plane ride from hell the to Chris Benoit. The referee. Yeah, the, the, the sexual allegations. Like they, they, they had all this stuff that they, 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 they kept going to. Like they kept going to this part, this part, this part. And they would just bring up clips from the other dark sides of the ring. And just talk about how this thing has got resolved, got pushed under the rug. And then they finally got to him having to step down because of the allegations that happened uh, in 2022. So this, this was kind of like made, like when the allegations first happened, there was like, there's no way we can't make a story about this. Mm -hmm. But knowing that they don't have all the parties involved to talk about yeah, this. Yeah, they don't have enough material, really. Like yeah. Fresh material. The only thing fresh in here that they talked about was that, the fact that that happened. Yeah. And the fact that him and Linda have been separated for years. years. And everybody just perceived because, you know, they, they are still, I think they're still legally married for business purposes. Really. Yeah. Um, but they haven't been like an actual couple and what they say, like twenty years or some shit like yeah, that. Yeah, it's been it's been a while. And it's like 10, 10, 20 years. But maybe. the perception is when you do something like this, they're thinking like, oh, you cheat on your you wife. Cheat on your wife. Because you know, it, 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 you know I mean, all these allegations did not happen when he was separated from Linda. Let's, let's get I, that clear. I mean, obviously it, that that as well. So you did cheat on your wife, uh -huh. but it just looks, it looks bad. Like the optics of this is not good. That was the only new thing that they had in there that they. Actually, somebody actually said out loud that they've been separated and that he had to step down. Everything else was clips from other Dark Side of the Ring episodes. Uh, episodes. Um, and they did have... Cause, no, the lady the lady who accused him, that was a clip from another... Was that a clip from another episode? Or was that just you talking about the plane ride from hell? You talking about the, no, the lady, the, the first referee. ref. Yeah, that, that's from, 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 from a different show. That's probably the only most updated footage that they had. Yeah. Unless unless I didn't see one of them old Dark Side of the Rings. I don't think that that was in uh, that Dark Side. Like, that was in a Dark Side of the Ring. I think they might have taken that from another show. Uh -huh. But literally every other situation was um, something they had basically already covered. They just like cut and paste everything together. See, I want to do. I I, I want to see the one like like Brian Gumble trying to get together, you know, for HBO. What? Yeah, yeah. I resent your tone, okay. Uh, hey yo. But I'm confused. Like, like Netflix, the one that, that, that they was trying to do that four part one, mm -hmm. or so that, like stuff where you can get the parties involved. I'm wondering stuff. about that Netflix one because he was involved with the Netflix one, right? Uh, I believe. I feel like he was. Which means that we're going to get a nice sanitized version of Vince McMahon. That's not what I necessarily want. That's why you need HBO. <laughs> HBO ain't doing nothing, okay? HBO out here cutting their own programming. They yes. took Westworld off of HBO Max, and I'm about to write. Oh, I sorry. I, I, I ain't even hear. Oh, sorry, that's for that's for the nerdgasm. Prime. Can I get you? I'm here. I'm here y'all uh, explain this little vice thing. You know? No, no, no. But but now to get back to the McMahon thing, I, I want to get your your thoughts about th this attempt to to come back into power for WWE. I think it's not going to work. Well, then again, it's a, a wealthy white guy, so anything is possible. Unfortunately, so we'll just have to kick back and see. That is the one that, yeah, I understand the kickback and see mentality, but I, I think that the people backstage would, would forcefully be like, no, we can't do this. Like, like, like. Yeah, that's what I've heard. I've heard everybody backstage is against it, but, uh, you know. I, I'm like, I mean, yeah. Purposely, you can't show them the this way and then go back to the old way. No, but also. Especially Michael Cole. He can, can be, be not yelling in that man's ear. He is we'll having the screen. time of, of his, his life at that table, you hear me? Minus oh. the whole euphemisms he had for the milk on Friday where he was mm. just, yeah, you know, it was a lot of them. If y'all want to go back there, Was he listen. using the J word? Huh? Was he using the J word? No, but uh, he, he was just like, uh, God, what was some of the, the, the uh, crap he said about, you know, the, the milk and stuff? And I was just like, Oh, this is a, you know, it, it was on, it was on a lot of like mood violation type shit like oh, that. No. And I was just like, not the dead jokes. Yeah, I was like, okay, Cole. 
I don't know. Maybe some somebody should steer you. But this is the thing. He can be wealthy all he wants. But your other wealthy friends will throw you under the bus if you want to lose them some money. Yes. Oh, well. They don't care. And then one day, I mean, I know he don't care about morale. He'll force it by that. He really saying, don't. But I'm saying, but, it, it, but, but, but once again, though, but if you show them a different way, right, and people are now getting into their storylines and try to do something like that, and then you just come here and just try to retake all that stuff, people, I... They I, might walk out. It's a possibility. Like, if Sasha and they only walked out in May, back when he was working there, mm-hmm. and to the point like, yo, I can't take this shit no more. And I'm out. And then it's like, okay, Triple H is here. I'm going to show y'all a better way. And the, you know, the whole morale has got to a high point. And he has hired so many times back who just needs to. Because everybody can't go to AEW. Also, everybody's not going to work out that he hired back either. You got to be honest with yourself there. So some people may get. Oh, oh, I don't know oh. if they want to get released again. But they may get relegated back to NXT. Or. Well. I, I do think with with Twitch hiring these people back, I think it was more uh, along the lines of, let me give you your chance because you never got the chance. Mm-hmm. Let me get you and, and some people you know that their hands are tied, but it's like let me give you the chance and then if if, if you don't get if if it doesn't work, let's try to see something that does work. And if it doesn't work, then maybe it wasn't cut out for this. I'm saying because g- great example of that is Hit Row. Hit Row, what? They suck. Now, like they're getting no reaction. Oh, I was about to say, yeah. I was definitely about to say hits news because they, yeah. they, they get on melatonin. Smackdown, okay, <laughs> they, they get they, they get no reaction. But then Swerve is with AEW, okay, and obviously Swerve was the the glue for it that. The hard soul, yeah, for that group. And it's like, okay, well, let's just try to give them a chance to get over as a tag team, and it ain't working mm-hmm. at all. A shot, a shot he ain't a mouthpiece. You know what I'm saying? Top Dollar thinks he's a mouthpiece, he's but not. but he, he he's that's he's, the one they was calling like Dollar General or Family Dollar. Yeah, or whatever. yeah. He got fired, right? Yeah, no, yeah. He's, he's so not. that hasn't been working. But hold, but even then, uh, an old girl's just not good. I mean, she don't wrestle. I mean, I, I like be fair. I'm not gonna say I don't. I, I hate Beefair. Contributes nothing. Yeah, as of right now, yeah, no. I'm sorry, <laughs> I hate to say it. Uh. Legato del Fantasma, they had to put Selena Vega with them because nobody knew who Electra Lopez was. Hmm. And they're still not getting as much. Santos is getting somewhat because he can wrestle, but so can all of them. But in a way, but as of right now, the act is not really getting over. So, oh. and Some we, people going to have to be repackaged. Yeah, repackaged. With, 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 uh, nobody's getting a reaction to Candice LeRae. You're getting. Oh, a, I just feel bad for her. Yeah, you get you get a little reaction with with Gorgano, but 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 the thing is, it really shows you how much the main roster people don't watch NXT. No, they don't. I mean, but and I guess that's what they were trying to trying to get mm. to with the um, like trying to recreate NXT and bring it, I guess, more into the fold, make it more yeah more, more watchable. But I mean, I don't know. I feel like maybe if they hadn't been stifled when they got here in the first place, then maybe they would have some kind of a following now. Yeah, I'm Hit Row back then was good. I enjoyed NXT Hit Row, mm-hmm. and then when they came to the main, when when they got drafted to SmackDown, everybody was hype, and the first thing they did was, was fire Beef Head. And he's like, why? And then after that, they started doing stupid segments with Sami Zayn backstage. Like, they weren't allowed to be what got them over in NXT. Yeah. And then they fired the whole group. But then, so it's like, when you do shit like that, then it's like, source like, I need a job. You took you took the battery off the toy. And then, yeah. you know, it's kind of, it really is like that. You, you get this toy, you're excited for it, and then, you know, you start playing with it more, the batteries die. Then you don't replace it. And it goes to the bottom of the toy box. You never see it again. I don't care about it no more. And I just that's just the... That's what happened with pretty much all of the NXT stars that came up within the last few years. It was just like, I could care less that you're here. <laughs> so, so don't be. So I know too much much you were back. It's like, okay, let's see what you can do. And if now... Now it's like, he's going to have to pilot. Let's go to the drawing board. And let's see... What can get you up on the main roster? Let's tweak, tweak the act a little bit or send it back down to NXT. 
and then and then we'll try to get you over somewhere somewhere there. Like my personal opinion, I mean, him needs to go back down to NXT. Absolutely, I mean, they need to go back down to NXT, and they need to get, find another way to get themselves over. And I I I, I have a fear that it's going to be just put Carmelo Hayes with him. I and, think that's what's going to happen, but I really think that unfortunately. If something happens and it don't work, old girl getting the the, the uh, axe the first again. Um, if they can figure out how to, you know, get some kind of a, I don't know, some interest, then maybe they'll be all right. But they definitely got to go back down to NXT. Well, I'm gonna say, but I think too much of the saying that he did with Alexa Lopez. She's in NXT. She's in different storylines. And she's on, going on the road, and she's practicing. She's on on level up. That's what you need to be doing. Mm-hmm. That's what you need to be doing. That's why I think NXT needs to be doing for a lot of other people. But if Vince comes back, that's not going to happen. He's going to lose a job. Absolutely. And like I said, everybody can't go to AEW. Uh, not at all. Yeah, everybody can't go to AEW. Everybody don't want to go to Impact. Everybody's not going to be like Sasha Banks. Like I want to go to Japan. There, and then it's just nowhere to go, and you just need you need to work. Poor Naomi just out there high and dry with no job. I don't, look. I still have a feel like me and Pro talked about on a previous podcast that we do feel that Naomi and Sasha may come back at the Rumble. I think that's possible, but I feel like Naomi got shafted in this, like by her yeah. own doing. Yeah, but it's I mean, like, well, I. As much as the the fan base and ourselves love Naomi, just like Paul was saying, she shouldn't. It's it's kind of like okay, Michael and Jermaine did this, but you do know who Michael is, right? Yeah, I would say Sasha's the star. That, 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 that's what it I, is. I mean, I think Sasha has more. She has a bit more of a universal appeal. Yes, I just personally. I, 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 it's just about this universal appeal. I think that she. I don't. Okay, I think that she wants to go and do, like, she wants to go and do uh, wrestling and stuff in Japan. But it's kind of like, yeah, the difference with your analogy is, yeah, they both left the group, but they didn't lead a group together. No. They left on their own accords. And I don't know if everything that, the way they had been booked hadn't happened, um, and they were booked to weren't booked together. I don't know if Naomi would have left because she yeah. probably knew. It's it's one thing like you should yes you should know your worth, but she probably knows where am I really going to go? She's kind of back into a corner at this point. Where is she? I don't know. You know, say it could it could be that like I got I need a break. I burned down. I got my, I can get my job back. I mean. It ain't like I, I I have a feeling that too much will welcome them both back. You know what I'm saying? And, but Sasha right now is like, look, I've done everything in the, in WWE. I have done it all, literally at, at, at her at her young age. I've done it all. But let so let me do something else. She did do all that was offered. Yeah, Naomi has not done it all. And that's yeah. what I'm saying. I'm like she, you know, because they were booked like trash. So it's like, okay, I could see wanting to leave, but what happens when she goes off to do her own thing? Are you going to, are you yeah. going to come back by yourself? Is she waiting until Sasha's available and they come back together? Like, you know, I don't know. Sorry. That was just random tangent. No. Let's go I, back to what you're talking about. No, no. I, I mean, yeah, I mean, but that's, that's pretty much. The, the the gist of it it would just it would it would not be in anybody's anybody's interest honestly anybody's interest. best interest except his it's best interest for him to even attempt to even come back with the way things are going right now because I think it'll, it'll cause it'll, it it'll be a black spot but, but, but especially when when you have all these all these other, other things when people get fired for less it'd be a black spot that if somebody did this and they just he comes he back come back and he still got pending or more allegations are going to come up. But if, but you come back, but even with beyond just the allegations part, but you come back and make it a hostile work environment again. Yeah, 